See this park him. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here on Tribune again uh, with a bold statement from uh, the title saying, Is this game the battle chess? Well, it's up to you to make the choice. Together, let's find out. My name is Karsten. My name is Max. And together, we created the astonishing board game Tribune. You can already send in the background. Uh, the game of today is called DVD et Impera. That's Latin for what is it? Split and rule. So split your enemies into groups and then uh, watch if they disintegrate and uh, you can have an easier time ruling them. <laughs> and and the saying here, Civis Pacem Parabellum, you can read it, uh, is uh, if you long for peace, get ready for war. Well, that's a little bit impolite, but that's the way the Romans saw the world, right? Okay. Uh, it seems, yeah. <laughs> and it or... worked for centuries yeah uh yeah okay really yeah now <laughs> i thought you were commencing the game okay you see the setup uh the two armies it's black to move um maybe give us your opinions well i did this um you don't really uh do something right now with this one so I thought, just do something along the sides, and as this uh, position is symmetrical, um, I could have chosen either one, I just chose this out of, you know, because I felt I should do this. <laughs> mm. But it shouldn't really matter that much. Yeah, it's kind of a basic setup uh, in the beginning, so it's my move. I'm already creating the first unit with a height of of four, you see, uh, unlike in chess, where you have fixed pieces, you have here units or pieces that create units when they are stacked up. Uh, so this dude has a movement pattern quite similar to the knight in chess. This one has a pattern too, uh, comparable to, to the bishop in chess. And there are many, many more. This is like the pawn a little. And uh, yeah, I went for this first uh, striking cannon because with when this dude gets out of the way, this Equus sees the entire diagonal and is posing the first threats of this battle. Yeah, and so I chose to defend this one. It's not... Um, it perhaps aims for the middle to go to the center of the board and it just gets rid of these um, uh, servi. You, you, usually you don't want too many of them as they are very slow units and uh, usually you only need them in the attack or in the defense but not uh, in the middle game where you try to secure the center. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and, and you decombined out of the way. Yeah, uh, I am uh, opening up the garage. Now my 400 PS motorcycle is ready to launch. <laughs> and, As, um, uh, by the way, by the way, uh, sometimes you see uh, these uh, pieces jump, changing the pictures for a second. Uh, that's when we repair the board, because we have uh, the god mode switched on, we can as well take and place something even against the rules. Uh, but when Max hits the button, then everything is uh, set right in place for the game to commence or to, to proceed. Um, yeah, and uh, just don't be disturbed. And you took. Uh, the idea behind this is that you win three pieces. I take three pieces, and you can then trade one piece again. Yeah. Until... And so it's a net zero, as we both lose four pieces, but uh, you could argue that I'm a little more stuck. I'm less uh, present in the center of the board. I personally uh, wasn't really afraid of this. I thought I could decombine those out of the way or something. Mm. Uh, so I think both parties were happy. <laughs> yeah, I figured maybe it's an interruption of your plan. 
I'm striking in the starting setup phase into your position and I'm damaging two units. I took this uh, Sagittarius standing here entirely and then damaged this one and usually this one plays a center role in the defense line. Whoops. Yeah. So you create two things. Uh, first, you create something that's a height of three, but you also create a symmetric set, uh, setup. Yeah, for which this Which allows field. you to combine all of these units under this one uh, hexagon, which is rather efficient. Yeah, you save time. Usually in Tribune, these little pieces mm. are where they're quite good in the defense when they are standing around and covering an area so the enemy cannot penetrate. Or in the attack, when single Servi is standing here and there and making the room tight for the enemy Tribune. But they are very slow. And so you usually try to combine them up, bring them somewhere else, and then split again. Here's the symmetry. Yeah. And so I chose to go for the center. It's and well defended. You have none. You have no service, uh, no service at all. Uh, service is uh, the smallest unit. I still have three of them. And usually in games I have eight or more. And then I lose. I straight up lose. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you know... Ooh, the first heavy bolt gun on the board. See, maybe uh -oh. introducing this one to you. It has a movement pattern that's like the one with the height of four, the Equus, the rider. But this one can just hike on these fields. It moves there. It cannot fight. Okay, it fights a little like the Rook in chess. So on the long files and ranks, it poses the threats. And if an enemy is standing there, I can attack it and take it and afterwards place my unit on this field. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I I am quite tired. Uh, yeah. I've tried a new method of sleeping and it worked really well, but I don't have the right <laughs> mattress. So I, I had to go to my old bed again and... It's much more tiring to sleep in it. Okay. Um, I see. Maybe, maybe uh, just one step back again. What happened in the game? I mean, it's very interesting that you are tired, man. But um, I had this beautiful ballista standing uh, and playing a little defense and posing a little offense. And that's a nice thing. But you see, this Equus already has an eye out on it, and if this Hestatus gets out of the way, I'm immediately getting attacked at the moment I am defended, right? But I hate being under pressure, and this would be pinned because when I'm getting out of the way, this Hestatus is, well, it's defended, but no, I hate this situation. So, yeah, I tried something, and... Uh, you see, now I have two equities, one on the gray fields and one on the dark fields, and now you cannot move this because this is pinned. I'm actually... Uh, the most annoying thing about this is that you blockade this hexagon, which uh, really posed a lot of uh, difficulties to me, and uh, I even thought about like attacking you right away. Um, by means of uh, using this one to step forward or something, but mm. I um, I really did not see a good way to do this. So instead, I attacked you like this, threatened you like uh, there. So. And this is this is a menacing threat. Uh, if you hit here, then you can notice this field is just defended by this dude. So. A unit of four would enter my territory. I could take two units, uh, two pieces, then an Hestatus, a black Hestatus, would remain 
and the Nestatus moves along these diagonals, so this one would kill my Tribune. If you figure this, you see, ooh, this dude is not defended at all by tactics, so I gotta do something about it. In when when you watch the time, I, it took me some seconds to to find a good answer to this move. I did not really like that. Um, I'm defending this field, okay. I'm posing some threats here, okay. But I'm opening up my tribune completely. And so I combined this one. Uh, looking at it uh, in retrospect. I'm well suited to um, confront your attack. So mm -hmm. perhaps it would have been a better thing to clear off this hexagon by getting this one out of the way and combining here, launching okay. an attack by my own. But um, I didn't. Oh. Yeah. I did you were something. talking about things that did not happen. Just like... <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I, I could not follow you, it was a little... Now you combine out of the way and you were very present on the dark hexagons. Yeah, and so uh, I defended this a lot. Um, mm. And let's see what you did. <laughs> Heavy ordnance striking here. Uh, maybe if this one marches boldly forward into your territory, this is under pressure. Okay, we talked about that. The dark hexes are completely solid. Um, but maybe, maybe, yeah. Yeah, see, the thing I didn't like about this, um, I cannot really help this one. Uh, and what I mean by that is, I have only this move as a viable option, as this Ballista and this Equus are defending everything else quite well. Um, I mean, you mean the fields you could use to dig or, uh, co or combine? Yeah. Yes, and so you're basically hunting this one down, but I found a clever way to get this one uh, to go there. Basically, you teleport it like this. Yeah, by zigzagging in a triangle. Around yeah, this and, dude, <laughs> and here it's defended rather well. So yeah, uh, it was very clutch. Uh, it could have ended very poorly for me, but it didn't. And see, your tribune is on the dark field, so it's a good decision to solidify these dark fields. But you open up some infiltration points, and uh, now we have an exchange in the center, and. I'm using the confusion of the time to sneak further into your territory. It seems threatening. Let's let's have a deeper look on this situation. I mean, this field is defended by this Sagittarius. You could attack me, but if you do, then there would be an Sagittarius remaining that could I place these here that could attack the Tribune, right? So again, by tactics, this one, ah, you repaired the board once again. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so by tactics, I can sneak in here. Uh, this is a little comparable to chess when you use the pinned units or so. Yeah. And I, I saw this. Um, and so I went for a uh, attack. It's not that uh, strong. I can mm. get here, and it looks a little bit threatening, but uh, see, this is still defended, so mm. um, not that great, I might say. But I don't really have a lot of other options here. Um, what I also could have uh, considered is building a ballista in the center like this, but I didn't. Um, Perhaps it would have been uh, a better shot. We're here to see the game. <laughs> and now I see this option and I don't like it. So I'm the one getting there first, covering this uh, file. And it's a file where also your Tribune is on. 
So you cannot really step out of the way because then this strikes deeper into your territory on this dude. Uh, he's not defended at the moment. So yeah. yeah and, and you're actually threatening to take this one. I don't know if I should uh, dive into the reason why. Should we? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's it's for us. It's clear. Uh, my okay, come. We have the time. It's so, so uh, rich of tactics this game, and uh, you you should really uh, take your time and 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 watch and learn because it's fantastic. So you take. Yeah. And then I have uh, three options to take here, but. I really should choose one of those. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So let's say I bring this one back uh, and stand quite solid. L we, we have a little bit of a uh, problem here. Uh, see, now I can take with either two or four uh, with those two, but uh, either way I would die. So this is really untouchable. Um, mm. And so th what that means is, uh, basically, I've got uh, something very dangerous in front of my front door, um, and it could end very poorly right here. Mm -hmm. So, say you do something very stupid like this. Um, the game would end to just simply taking here. Um, Maybe there's a quicker Are you sure? way. I I would say there's a better way. Yeah, but uh, you take three th things and then it's this simple pattern wins on the spot. Um, <laughs> and see here are the savvy again. Those tiny little dudes uh, bringing down the tribune in the end, um, but in the middle game they are not worth it. Yeah, and so. If you see something like this uh, in, popping up, you know, you, you, it's really dangerous for your opponent. Which is the reason why I had to defend this one. Yeah. Um, and, and so I chose to do it like this. Mm, I, um, it's a funny move, I think. Uh, right now, this one uh, cannot defend this one, and this one is in the way. Yeah. But I'm getting him out of the way and using this ballista to uh, defend now. <laughs> Which adds <laughs> more defense. Um, uh, sorry, sorry, I was uh, laughing and, and you couldn't be heard right. Sorry. Uh, so, so basically, uh, we had two defending before and now it's four. And the difference now is that if you take, I would take using this one, and then uh, I would have more defense on this exit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, another layer of threat. Now I'm, I mean, on this spot, the Equus was seeing his fellow companion here, but uh, to no avail. Now I'm striking on this dude and he's not defended. And you, yeah, go directly attack. for the honeypot. I attack like this and uh, this is useful. I, I can kill this one. Yeah, it's a but fork. Yeah, um, I will not kill this one. Uh, for a simple reason, uh, if I kill this one, I lose all my defense here. The enemy can step in and it's uh, basically game over. So I can't actually take this, even though it's a fork. But I have a strong attack and uh, maybe I can turn the table around. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> I was turning the camera. <laughs> yeah, I really dislike this move. <laughs> this my my move yeah yeah uh, uh, yeah usually usually combining with an uh, the tribune up to an aquis is a bad choice because now i'm stuck on this color complex and can be easily hunted down but with some friends around maybe i get along mm -hmm. um i mean the the sagittarius i was before had quite 
limited choices of going somewhere, most of the fields already taken by some attackers and so I had been forced somewhere where there would have been an easy follow-up attack. Yeah, but oh, still, I don't like this move. I can bully you around, which you will see for the next couple of moves. I just Are you... attack and you have to move. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so when you say you don't like this move, you, you like it uh, for me to yeah, make this I move. Yeah, I think it was a very bad move. Uh, bad move, especially uh, looking at your clock. You have 22 seconds and you um, constrain yourself to a black color complex, which I have been defending the whole game. <clears throat> and um, this just makes you a very easy target. Yeah, so. yeah, but we could have gone into some specifics about what had the Sagittarius choices for. And I'm pretty sure these weren't that good either. Yeah, so let's see. I, I just kick you around a bunch of times. Feel free to... Um... <laughs> I'm crouching nearer and nearer and nearer. Yeah. And so what I should have done in this position is I should have come back and threatened you like this. I didn't, mm -hmm. uh, which gave you the opportunity to uh, create a Centuria, which is not good. Um, and especially yes. this oh. move. Whoop. Oh, hey! <laughs> Uh, unfortunately. Yeah, that's, that's a tabletop simulator. The simulation of this piece is uh, unfortunate, to say the least. So, uh, see, this is a very dangerous unit. It can really do a lot of damage, uh, especially if your Tribune is uh, the one being the unit. And I did a very bad thing here. See, um... I had uh, a Sagittarius here, and when I split him up, I did this. But well, this was really bad. I should have done something along the lines of this. For two reasons. The first one is simply to block this one. And the th second one is, as you will see, when I take this Equus, which is still under fire, I'm blocked. Had I put this here, I would have attacked you, yeah. forced you to do something. Now I don't have this, I don't have this tempo. Yeah, the similar thing in chess would be attacking with a check. And yeah, when you take something and have a follow-up check, then yeah, your opponent has to do something about the check. He cannot consider other plans. And the thing is, why I really dislike this move is yeah. I really, um, I saw this and I didn't put this one here or here as to not block me. <laughs> but then, in the last second of making my move, I was like, oh, here's something that can move on the gray hexagons, let's block it. Mm -hmm. And I placed it to block me. It was, yeah, anyhow. It's unfortunate. Uh, but uh, the excuse is, even though you have one minute uh, remaining on your clock, this is a really high time pressure game. We had a two minute, what, two minute plus five and a think tank of 10 or 15 seconds. So rare, time is rare in this game. So you have to make split second decisions. And yeah. Now this move becomes available, but otherwise would have been stopped by uh, yeah, dealing with the threat of the attack on my Tribune, so I can attack and... Yeah, you are attacking me here? Now? What I simply yeah. do is... Putting the plug. Now, I'm not quite sure. I could have now taken here. Perhaps that w would have been an option. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. If you do, I would... Okay, I could not... No. I think it's quite um, decent. Yeah, um, yeah. If you would have taken... It would have been the better choice, right? Yeah. 
by the way, funny thing. Uh, taking this position, good move. Taking in this position, poor move. You lose on the spot. As if you take, uh, the enemy could combine like this, which would threaten you and take away your escape. Uh, field. Yeah, not not in this way here. You would open up oh. your tribune again and die in the first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but so uh, it's, it's, it's a funny uh, pattern. So, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's uh, so that this is an option. Combine out of the way to block and then yeah. attack with the other unit. Um, a lot of constraints. Yeah, but uh, I didn't block and this was a horrible move. Uh, yeah. And it but was... why? But why? See, by splitting up this ballista, I'm posing a threat on these two fields. So the tribune is under attack, and you cannot run away this this way. And I'm attacking here, crisscross. Again, attacking the tribune and uh, stopping him from getting here. So a double attack on the tribune can only be met with the tribune has to move right it's like in chess and a double attack always forces the, the, the king to move but he can't and so it's it's over if you can bring down the tribune of the enemy but this move also stopped this i blocked the way to my tribune yeah, and, and so move. I did the last move, yeah. and... And dying in the sword, or... <laughs> no... Okay, oh, yeah. sorry, I, I undid the move by accident. Yeah. Uh, but uh, now I lost. Yeah. In yeah. the arrow's reign. Yeah, okay. okay. I think it was a quite instructive game. Uh, yeah. We're on the goodbye screen, right? Um, yeah. Wait, so wait, then, wait, 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 the music. <sighs> so then, um, I hope you enjoyed the game or the game uh, in and of itself. And if you did, uh, be sure to leave a like and um, maybe subscribe, leave a comment and share it with your friends. Besides that, we wish you a wonderful day and a very good time. And until then, see you soon. On Tribune.